Have you ever noticed how all these celebrities die under irregular circumstances? You think about Tupac, Biggie, uh, Whitney Houston, Prince, Michael Jackson, Sam Cooke, Bob Marley, all these different artists are dying under irregular circumstances. Today, we're gonna to talk about the death of Jimi Hendrix. So there are many conspiracies behind how Jimi Hendrix really died. Now, one of them conspiracies, or I'll say conspiracies, is that his manager killed him. His manager was Mike Jeffrey, so we talking about an M16 agent, uh, somebody who was well connected to organized crime families and the FBI, all red flags. So Jeffrey and Hendrix, they was funking hard. They wasn't seeing eye to eye about a lot of things. Hendrix, he said Jeffrey got to go, and he would have fired him had he had lived. So after Hendrix's death, we have James Wright, who was a roadie of Hendrix, and we also have Mike Jeffrey, his former manager, who's lounging together. Jeffrey, he's drunk, and he ends up confessing to the murder. So Mike Jeffrey, while drunk, he says, I grab a handful of pills, I shove it down his throat, and I wash it all down with red wine. I had to do it. Jimmy was worth much more to me dead than alive. That son of a blank was going to leave. Charlie.